It's hot! Right down. Kill confirmed. Never a doubt. Good job. It's hot! Shot out. Right down. And today I am using the best gun in the entire game like I knew pistols were really good But I never really ran around in an entire game with a pistol until this gameplay and I was like wow This is so easy the three burst pistol is better than the m8 It has the same range as the freaking m8, but you run faster and you aim faster this gun needs to be nerfed more than any other gun in the entire game. Nerfing all of the damn SMGs that I feel were perfectly balanced the way that they were before, you need to nerf the damn pistol because this thing is crazy. This thing is so easy. If you haven't run around with just this pistol by now, you should because it's easy mode. But that's not what I wanted to talk about today. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about why I don't tend to play other game modes. As you notice, I usually just play Kill Confirm, Ground War, or Domination. I don't tend to really touch any of the other games. And a few people have asked me to play other game types and wanted why. So I just wanted to kind of talk about that. And if you guys, I'm not sure how many of you would have seen this video, but a while back I did a video on the art of playing solo. I will link it in the description. I'll put it in an annotation as well. But in that video, I basically gave tips on what I do as a solo player to enjoy Call of Duty and to get as least frustrated as possible and to do good and all that good stuff. And one of the main things that I mentioned is that you should play Team Deathmatch or Kill Confirmed when you play solo. Now the reason that I tend to stay away from Team Deathmatch and lean more towards Kill Confirmed is because Team Deathmatch for me is really campy. People don't really like to move. They don't seem to like moving very much. Plus, it's much easier to get your kill streaks in Kill Confirmed than Team Deathmatch. So, I always play Kill Confirmed. And honestly, playing Domination is kind of pushing it a little bit because, my god, some people don't want to play the objective ever at all in their life. I was in one game the other day. Me and this one dude had the same amount of kills. I had less deaths than him, but I had like five captures and like seven defends, and he had zero captures, zero defends. And we were constantly getting our flags taken. We didn't win the game. We were being freaking dominated. And it's just very hard as a solo player to carry certain game types. Whereas with Kill Confirmed and Team Deathmatch, it's pretty much all just about kills. So if you go on a tear or you do really good, usually your team will end up winning. But in game types that like Hardpoint, Domination, Headquarters, Demolition, it's not just about you. It's a team effort. And yes, you can. I'm not saying that you can't carry those game types, but it's just much less likely that you're going to be able to be successful, especially if you're playing against people with half a brain. It's going to be very difficult to really bring the win home by yourself for your entire team against people that actually know what they're doing. But also another really big reason why I tend to stay away from other game types, especially Hardpoint. I'm talking about Hardpoint specifically when I say this. The amount of full parties that you run into in super objective game types are much higher than Kill Confirmed and Domination. A lot of people play Domination, so you're much more likely to just find single players in there. And Kill Confirmed, you don't really need a team for Kill Confirmed. If you're gonna play as a party, it's probably better to go in Ground War or one of the other game types than Kill Confirmed. But in Hardpoint, I swear to God, right now, I could go on and join 10 games of Hardpoint. And out of those 10 games, I might find two that are not complete parties on the other team. And people might sit there and say, well, don't you want a challenge? You want a challenge to beat a full party? Not in freaking Hardpoint, I don't. Not in Hardpoint. No, I do not. No, thank you. All you find when you play against full parties in game types like Headquarters, Demolition, Hardpoint, it will be a team of people. There will be a sniper. There will be an LMG target finder. There will be a shotgunner. They will have trophy systems, guardians, sentry guns, and they will just set up. 
And even if I have EMP grenades and a freaking black hat, my team is not going to do a goddamn thing against those people. I've been in this situation many times. I've gone into other game types and been like, okay, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna play a different game type. And it just makes me really angry. I just get frustrated because I'm constantly playing against these people that are all talking to each other and communicating with each other and I'm playing with a bunch of half brain mentally incapacitated people who don't want to help me win the game. So for me personally, video games, any video game, Call of Duty is not an exception. I play it to have fun. I don't want to be like, okay, I need a hard point gameplay. So I'm going to play Call of Duty and play hard point because I need a hard point gameplay. Like, I don't want to be in that mentality. I just want to go on Black Ops 2. And if I'm in the mood to play Kill Confirmed, I'm going to go play Kill Confirmed and have fun. Like, that's it. And for me as a solo player, I'm sure anyone out there that plays this game solo can understand that it is very frustrating to play objective game types on your own. Especially the ones where people in parties tend to gravitate towards like Capture the Flag, Demolition, Hardpoint, all those kind of game types. So I just play game types that don't frustrate me. That's pretty much, that's as simple as it is. Kill Confirmed is not frustrating because if I do good, we will probably win. And that's perfectly okay with me. But knowing that if I go into Hardpoint and if I do amazing, it doesn't mean that we're gonna win. That really, really, really sucks. So for anyone that is out there thinking, oh, you just wanna play against bad people, that's not what I'm saying. I don't want to play against parties. There's a big difference. Actually, most of the time when I encounter full parties, the people playing in the parties usually suck. They're usually really, really bad when it comes to an individual skill level. But the only reason that they win is because they're playing objective game types together and all they care about is winning. So that is pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will speak to you later. Bye!